Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. The doctor is in, and we are back with more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. He is joined by the tired Froggy. Hey. What? You're cute. Did you know that? I know that. That's why you love me. Yes, yes, I do. And hello, Shadow Knight. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Okay. Tired. Yeah, I feel that. I am hoping that the Groundhog tie on Ascension Quest tonight. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. What are yeah. the Ascension Quests? Uh, it basically allows you to get up to level 20 with the classes. Yeah. It also gets you like more backstory and stuff. There's a few that I'm going to be doing offline because they contribute very little to the overall story. Okay. But 
Uh, speaking of which, Reeve, would you mind sending me that list again? Tyon starts in Colony Lambda. Okay. Tyon, please don't spawn inside the framework of these ships. It's not good for you. That works, so you have to later. All right, no worries. No worries. Um... Do I have a teleport location on... Let's see, look my... Can I? Okay, yeah, I do. So I will... I'll come back here later. Oh. Um... Okay, so... Com continue Hammurabi's hero quest then, then go to... Go for Tyon. You go ahead into the city. Yeah, let's go. Hey, kitty, come on up. Come on. Come on. I call all cats kids or kittens, even though they are not goats or actually kittens. What about Garfield? Pretty sure that's a, just a cat. Talking to the cat. She probably knew that Mio was going to be on screen again and came running. I am a leaf on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. You can relax. We've landed now. Guess he didn't like heights after all. Funny, considering how gung-ho he was riding around in his Faronis. Yeah, okay, but... I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. He's just been born, and in a tenth term body. I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. What are you smirking at? Oh, just... You're a genuine good egg, Uni. Huh? Where did that come from? Hey there! Hey, Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You gonna actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. You think it was an intruder? I don't know, but there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's, uh... Oh... Come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh, with the silver hair. No way. Ethel! That's it, Ethel! Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. If such is the situation... I shall assist as well. Where shall we look? What? Um, we were just surprised that you were so, uh, concerned 
I am also recently of a cradle born. It may be some kind of fate at work. This soldier named Ethel, she may also find herself at a loss. So he didn't actually remember. And also, you, good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. Do not push yourself, please. Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. Sorry, mate. He's just been born. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything bad by it. Anyway, moving along. Movement in and out of the city is strictly regulated. So if there weren't any incidents reported so far, both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Good luck to you, whippersnappers. In the meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's gonna happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. And after that, well, keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. They'll be safe as ours is. I'll be in the war room. Keep me abreast of any developments. Huh. High places. Would you believe it? Sap my resolve. All oh, right. Well, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Excuse me. We're trying to find the person who dropped his sheet music. Oh, that's Grandad's. Can't believe he's been dropping things in the middle of the street again. He can't keep doing this. Would you mind introducing us to him? We'd actually quite like to meet him. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can help me find him. Knowing Grandad, he's probably standing on a bridge somewhere, worrying himself sick. Thank you. He's really hard to talk to. Hmm? Always nice to see a new face. Welcome to Shop of Wellwell. What Wellwell can do for friends? We were wondering if you have any novels. Novels? Of course. Question board is on city. What genre friends looking for? What? what? Sorry. Genre? Looks like... Look, we have no idea, okay? What's popular in the city? You want popular novel? That easy. Current bestseller is latest volume of Founder's Tale. The Founder's Tale? That's the title of the novel, is it? Right on money. Would friends care to buy? What you got? Okay, why not? Thankings for patronage. Friends choose well to choose well well. Story of Founder's Tale is epic narrative of Ouroboros who were first founders of city. So it's a record that the founders themselves left behind. That right. That framing device of novel. Framing what? Wait, are you sure you can afford to sell something so important for such a low price? That interesting take. Friends certainly have lively sense of curiosity. Well, well, do one better. Why not meet Miss Leanne, author of novel, directly? We can meet the person who actually wrote this book. Miss Leanne often go for Constitutional in Varied Park. She lady of lofty wisdom, so well well certain that she able to satisfy friends' curiosity. Huh. Would you believe it? Hardly. It's only happened because some out the elder outsiders come and go into the city bully nilly. Still, we were able to live in peace for all this time until now. That's no small feat, I think. The wonderful thing about unis is unis are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of feathers, their bottoms are made out of springs. Well, it
It really is empty. It's definitely Ethel's module. But why would anyone want her? If we want to know that, we just got to catch him. And what do you know? They left us a clue. Nice of them. There's footprints all over the place. They seem to be in a rush. They're not Ethel's, are they? But then whose? We only have to follow them to find out. They can't have gone too far. Let's get going. Walking around with dirty feet. Ugh, disgraceful. I think that's probably the least of their issues. Yeah, I think the foremost of their issues is that they have goat feet. Actually, maybe it's a knot on. A new way opens up to us. Hop, hop, hop. for naughty boy QBB. QBB never meant to do any harm. QBB just... just want to enjoy a game of ultimate hide-and-seek. Hide-and-seek? What is that? It's ultimate pastime of daringly go and hide when not allowed to go. Daringly? Defying a prohibition? Eh? QBB, please asking to not make scary face. So why did you open the cradle, then? When get on panel, it opened by self. And when it opened, girl, wake up. QBB really, truly sorry. We get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? QBB gets scared and flee from scene of hide, but can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. QBB think it direction of Centrillo Parade. I am the morning mist in a pine grove. I am Mithrice, growing across seasons. Me? Friend okay? Don't mind him. He's just, uh, trying to maintain his cool. I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. Is QBB in serious troubles? I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. <laughs> Let's leave QBB in Travis's hands and go track down Ethel. She looks quite distinctive. Someone on Centrillo Parade should have noticed her. You are right. Yes, let us go. Always 
always nice to see a new face. Okay, let's see. What's going to be the easiest way to get there? Unfortunately, I can't tank that fall, so... Uh -huh. This fall, I can tank. Ow. That's probably. Ow. Oh, I can tank that fall too, huh? What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just can't see. Anyway... Kamaravi... You're smoldering... Kamaravi? Ethel, you recognize him? I have to... go somewhere? I have to... But why? Take it easy. Let's take our time, yeah? We'll help you look, no problem. Mm. Now comes the tricky part. What do we do from here? What can we do except foster her in the city? A first term, there won't be any use in a fight. Do you find that acceptable? I don't know. I have a proposal. Would you leave her with me for a while? Wait, you're saying you want to look after Ethel? Just until she settles on her own path. I want her to have that freedom. I don't know why, but I feel it strongly. For now, let's see what Travis thinks. As the city's concerned, too, we shouldn't decide alone. <coughs> Travis, I fear we will wear him out again. It's not fatigue that that guy struggles with. You know what? Forget it. Maybe just don't say that to him, yeah? He's kind of touchy about it. I understand. I will mind my ways around him. Well, this certainly took an unexpected turn. We can't allow the loss to founder. Allow me to take charge. Ah, 
Well, I guess I mostly understand. Are you sure you can handle child rearing? Child rearing? What is that? In a nutshell, I'm asking if you're capable of taking responsibility for the proper upbringing of this little princess. I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. <laughs> Too precious. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I am sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. I'll help too. Uh, but you cannot fight. I can be your eyes, though. I can see that which you cannot. No? By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica then. Oh, okay, f fine, fine, fine. I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey, you're that scared of Monica? Oh, I'm scared, all right. But I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? It's just that woman takes on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much, at least. Your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. And by unimpeachable, I mean completely impeachable! Oh yeah? Well, make it hundredfold then. Don't get greedy, Trav. Oh, we're doing nicknames now. How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't swell it. No, this is truly a grave debt. Especially... Tyon. You said I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet. But now I understand what you meant, at least. And um, you were the source oh. of the spark that set Nuts. my flame alight. Thank you. I didn't get to read all that last one. Um. Tyon, he's talking to you. I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. The future. Really. It is a foreign country. Huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path. The right code to live by. Yes. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, remain ready to do battle for the city. And for you as well. Okay, Seraph, roll attacker. Becomes more powerful with each hit taken. Utilize self-damaging arts to maintain high attack power. It's Noah, right? Did I got it? No, tie on. Oh. Huh. Would What's you believe this? it? Oh, hey, perfect timing. You lot have already smashed up a few flame talks so far, right? Yeah, a few, I guess. Why? Well, the thing is, the lost numbers are going to start paying out a bounty for damage dealt to Mobius. Here you go. Huh. Would you believe it? Ah, so you showed up. Are we getting more of that bounty? Yeah, you've really done in quite a few of those flame clocks now, huh? The fighting's only going to get more fierce from now on. I hope he'll be helping us with that. Huh. Would you believe it? Well, well, well. A personal visit from Mobius is most wanted. I'm not sure how I feel about being labeled like that. In the lost numbers, this would be the highest conceivable honor. Your reputation alone dealing... Uh, your reputation alone is dealing Mobius a massive blow here. Anyhow, here you go. Okay. 
just between us, right? But the reason the conservative crew are biting back at the boss is so much is because she's young. To be the elder, you need judgment, a wealth of experience, not to mention being well-liked. That's the stuff you get more of as you age, according to the conservatives, so they're always speaking down to her. She has to contend with that while she's carrying everything else. I've never heard her whine about it, either. She's doing a real first-rate job, if you ask me. Time for a nice big breakfast. Well, she's doing a good job in... maintaining the city, oh at God. least. If only she'd apply that to her daughter. I think her daughter got a bit neglected. And they were stopping on Travis while we're here. Hence why I'm saying she ought to apply a bit oh, of that to her daughter. Oh. That's nice. maybe, maybe her daughter wouldn't be such a little mutter otherwise. cafe because yeah the canteen that's what I meant the hunger is stirred should we eat fortify the spirit I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me you're gonna lie down in the canteen okay so I they clearly don't you know what one can drink Okay, so I need to go out to the inlet camp with Riku and Manana. And then I need to go to the Iota Canteen with Alexandria. Okay. Alright, let's get going. Time's a wasted. Um Ah. Wait, what was I doing? I forgot. Okay, first off, I need to switch back to... Uh, where is... There she is. I go wherever you go. How are we doing in... Seven. Okay, so we've got very much varying degrees of completion in class ranks, so. Alright, Colony Lambda. We've explored a fair chunk of this. Wrong thing. Alright, map. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Oh. Just teleport straight to Colony Lambda. There we go.
and Talus. That just makes me think of the stone Talus. Dun, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. But what if the enemy pushed us back to here in a column formation? That'd just result in a deadlock. How if we hit our soldiers and land us for honest, we'd be able to cause some chaos at least. So, you guys are working with us on the ether mine, is that right? I wouldn't necessarily say that. It was a minor contribution at best. Well, whatever. If you hadn't have lent a hand, we'd have had considerable setbacks for sure. I expect that ether mine's going to be a key asset for the colony lander too. So yeah, thanks a bunch for all that. Do you have a minute? Can't you see I'm busy? Come on, keep it brief. We were wondering if we might be able to help fix up the canteen. Oh yeah, that'd be a big help. We're eager to get it back up and running too. Is there a reason you haven't done it yet? I put in a request, but there's so much else going on. I haven't got approval yet. You need approval to work. Yeah, we can't just go around building things willy-nilly. Oh, great. Got a lot of a bit of red tape. If we can get you approval, would you be able to start work? If you can manage it, that would be fantastic. Then we'll arrange it. Who's in charge of approvals? The head of the engineering corps and the chief of logistics are the people you want. And we'll need some helping hands, too. The chief of engineering is pretty forgetful. Probably still hasn't filed my request. I bet Whitby's claiming climbing the walls with how long it's all taken. Whitby's chief of logistics. You could talk to the head of the supply corps as well. She's always rushed off her feet. Reckon she could use a hand. That's a lot of people to see. The request's probably been held up somewhere in the pipeline. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, Isjord would most likely be in here. The rebuilding's underway, but I'd say there's a lot that we can still do to develop Colony Lambda. Do you have any bright ideas for its future, Commander? Well, it would be ideal to have an environment in which each individual can pursue their own targets. I'd like you to see it through to the end, if you could. That goes without saying, Commander. Yeah, that's, um... Oh. No, that's still... Uh... Maybe there's another quest that I need to do that unlocks Tyon's Ascension quest? Or maybe I need to get some of the gossip going on around here. So Koji came up with more, some more, uh, some scheme to mine up more ether. Just where would we be without Koji? He's also the one who's been putting pressure on Commander Isod, right? We've been mining tons of ether out, it seems. Yeah, with all that energy at us disposal, we've got nothing to worry about. If anything, it feels like we have more of it than we won't know what to do with. But hey, it's better than the alternative. the canteen or whatever it is rest spot they even have one around here I just when they did now that's commissary ah there we are shelter You can't stop me. The one called the sea. 
Ah, for crying out loud, I knew exactly where the sea was. Right then, strategy yeah. meeting. They say Kelvin Yolanda has been raking in the ether lately. Yeah, some bloke called Koji's meant to be behind it all. He seems to have pressured the commander personally, which sounds like Koji. They've always had some ether, I thought. They minded, didn't they? They're saying that there's huge amounts of it now. It takes some skill to produce such results in that length of time. Accomplishing something like that in Colony Lambda, that's no small feat. There's so many colonies that never have enough ether, and here's Colony Lambda sitting on a horde of it. They're saying they have too much, even. Can't they share some with other colonies? Yeah, what's stopping him? How about we ask him ourselves? I'm curious too. Let's find out. All right. Um, about that thing. I heard a lot about the strength of the leadership at Colony Lambda. Can to comment, Tyon? Of course. Commander Isod has collected the cream of the crop under his command. One of the Lambda's biggest achievements was the strategy of constantly shifting formation to befuddle and demoralize the opponents. That sure takes some skills. Formations that maintain, maintain cohesion while changing form under precise orders. They were said to be virtually unmatched when it came to large-scale engagements. Sounds like a far cry from Colony 9, huh? To be fair, we mostly worked in small detachments. I don't remember ever seeing maneuvers on that scale. Wonder how it would have gone if Colony 9 went up against Lander. I'm guessing it had been a bad day out. That's one way to say massacre. Allow me to run a simulation. Colony Lambda is putting up a strong defense. Colony 9 tires themselves out on the assault and is encircled by Colony Lambda forces. Once clustered and immobilized, Colony 9 troops are fired upon by Autolevs. All Colony 9 troops are cut down on the spot. Another victory for Commander Isiod. My, I think I'm detecting a bit of bias there. Okay. Where to from here? To the sea. We must see this through. Right, now those are ether inlets. Double crag gate, corn island camp. Sea Nod Camp. Inlet Camp. There we are. Riku just Riku. Common variety Nupon. Why am I having trouble believing? Want to see how last number I patched look on uh, Nupon? I patch so roguish and cool. Next time meeting will wait. Next time meeting we'll ask Simon to give one for sure. Alright, swapping out Ashira for Riku a minute. Right. Hey, look at those nup on. They look like Nopon traders. What are they dancing out there for? Shall we ask? Well, if nothing else, it'll be interesting regardless. Hey, you! Meh! Looking for bargains? What's all this dancing about, then? Sometimes Nopon just want to dance. Is there law against? Already ate dinner. You dance after eating? That's pretty unusual. Not even slightly unusual. What silly maniac dance while eating? I never said anything about that. Okay, anyway, so why were you dancing? Because just ate dinner with legendary Tempapa. Never have self Fifi been this happy. So glad to come on journey. Well, I'm okay with starting Riku and Manana's Ascension quest, so. Legendary Tempapa. What makes him a legend? Nah, nah. Did friends say Tempapa? Tempapa is real! Is he famous? He's very famous! Does 
looking so tasty it made face melt. Legend among Nopon. He's really that good. Good as gross understate. Manana want to meet Ten Pepper so bad. He here till just now. Chase after and you catch him. Manana must go. Dates with Destiny as apprentice. Wow, he even takes apprentices. Selfifi saw him go in direction of Daedalile, so go there to meet him. This best news of Manana's life. Manana going to become apprentice. He is worth shot. Uh, we're just gonna go along with this. I doubt we can simply pretend none of this just happened. Guess not. Always nice to see a new face. Time to meet living legend alive! It's all a bit over my head, but sure, let's do it. You make it sound like starting this quest was a bad thing. Well, I guess we were gonna go ahead and embark. Alright, how do I... Well, we'll uh, try and work on this after then. Well, I mean, you got, once we get done with uh, Manana's side quest, we'll try and work on tie-ons. Oh, would you look at that. Is that a supply drop? This quest is going to take a while. Oh, well, at least advance to the next stage of it, I suppose. Enough ton of ether there. There's a part of me that was wondering if she could actually make it because she seemed to be able to heal. All right, well, we've uh, been teleported all the way back here, so. I'm just going to lie here and you can't stop me. Crabble cousins are too strong. They're not wrong. Ah, here it is. We need to lay all this out. It's 
soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it. A sea just seems to go on forever. If we were still in Colony Gamma, we'd never have ended up coming here. Don't think we would have either, eh, Noah? Yeah, no way. I don't think I could have even imagined spending time just gazing out on the water. Well, of course not. If we had time to spend staring at the sea, we'd have time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these is good for us from time to time. Agreed. I'm getting a call. Huh? Is Commander Isid? Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do for you? I need to discuss something with you. Can you come by Colony Yolanda? That is, when you have a free moment, I would hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. All right. See you later then, Tyon. What do you say? That we should meet him at Lambda whenever we have time. All right, then let's pay him a visit when we next have a gap in our schedule. This reminds me. Well, I know these eye patches are necessary, but they really mess with me while fighting. I get you, Senna Love. I lose the, so much depth perception. Just can't get a good beat on the enemy sometimes. Granted, but if we're trying to get close to the Mobius unseen, there's really no other way. For sure, until Monica gave us these, then Mobius knew every single thing we did almost before we did them. The ambushes that awaited us at Colony 4 and Lambda prove it, yes. Well, excuse me. Except that we were safe while in the Black Fog. Sure, but we can't stay hidden inside the fog forever. Right, we never know when an annihilation event might occur. It's too dangerous to risk it. Yeah, I know. I'll keep my eye patch on. Even the lost numbers don't wear theirs 24-7 though, right? I'm sure there'll be times when we're safe to take them off. Like now. Alrighty here. Oh, right. <sighs> okay. Don't understand why we needed Riku and Banana in their party for that. Remember, Tanya got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was an Imoase. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue, use this. Yeah. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvezi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Zephronias. There used to be a castle there at one time. But at some point it was destroyed in a great battle. And there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute, but still, some were making soldiers. 
Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us. So perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looked like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony, along with Nimue. Nimue left with you? Why, sir? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. I wondered at her motivations, but I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth. Yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. It's all making sense. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? Sounds like we need to go to the... Uh... Rest spot here. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. This reminds me. Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyon. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia. That's that thingy, right? We saw one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. What? I go plant flowers and junk. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! This is unusually proactive for you, Manana. Why so? Ladies and flowers are like peas of same pot. No idea what Manana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. That okay with friend Tyon? Sure. Thank you, everyone.
I mean, is Manana wrong, though? About what women and flowers being like peas and pod? Yes. I don't know. All right, there is a husk somewhere up there that I wish to find. All right, let's see if I... If I move up here to the Titan Rock Camp, perhaps I can get there. Second now. Um. Okay, that was weird. Why did it take that long? Uh, I do not know. All right. I was actually kind of worried that my game had crashed for a moment there. Alright. Oh, right. This mutter. Probably should be able to handle it now. But first. We can't just leave this be. Okay. Now I'm going to swap out Riku and Banana briefly.
Oh, well, that was easy. Uh huh. Yep. Budding Francis. Something for Bud. Yeah. Okay. Now switch back to Riku and Banana. And reactivate the. Uh, wait, that's all not yet started. I need in progress. Alright, gotta talk with Gizzard. Luckily, it's pretty easy to get back to him. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. It was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. I mean, it sounds like she kind of threw herself into chaos. Commander. Kion. Sir? If Nimue's been reborn, if she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. I don't get it. 
Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Hmm? I'm sure he must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm... I'm just... You just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Huh? Okay, sorry. I know you're right. Okay. I'm going to take a brief break and be back in a few minutes. So if you will all bear with me here. You're sitting. All right. Be right back.
Apologies for the delay. We are back. Hold on. Wrong button. There we go. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Before we do anything. What was it doing? Hermit's Inlet. That's in the Cadencia region. <laughs> Thank you, Reeve, for the wow. Oh, that's culinary repertoire. There we are. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all its might. It did its very best to make the billow smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. Oh, it's a stuffing dragon they got there. Alright, let's try that again. This time we're gonna jump off just a night sooner. Right here should be sufficient. In reality, a fall like that would kill you, regardless of whether or not it was in water, but... Be at rest. The giant Pokemon is what it is. I think that's the Gyarados. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> There's something I was. Oh, yeah. Ether thingy. Let's get it done, Snappy. That's right. Let's make it quick. Everybody, use your art time, I reckon. Demon Hit Fire! Fire! And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. Should have enough to give Eno a boost now. That reminds me. Uh, no, never mind. I guess I will try that afterwards. Okay. So, yeah, that guy's level 72. I choose life. A formidable opponent. So that's what that kind of I means. So that's what the ultra boss music sounds like. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. I like how they all try to ambush me and then they realize I'm too strong for them. <laughs> like, oh, nope.
not an ultra boss theme. Well, then what was that? Just the unique boss theme? Oh, sea battle. All right, where is the snuffing submarine? Is there like a way I can call it to me? Fast traveling brings it back. Is that what I think it is? Well, let me just uh, explore this little area here, because this is got to be important for something, I'm sure. Like, surely there's got to be a landmark as part of this land mass. That's annoying. You'd think that this particular kind of location would be would, would have a fast travel point, but no. Okay. Uh, all right, here inlet camp. If I remember to press A instead of B. Nintendo can't get with the times.
There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the Earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Manana not see any people! Whole unit made up of Levnesses. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. A console. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? Maybe because they control Levnesses. I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. You know, Reeve, I don't necessarily mind the Nintendo controller layout. I just mind the fact that it's... I get, gotta keep pressing A, which is the PlayStation equivalent of Circle. Or ra rather, the, it's the Nintendo equivalent of PlayStation Circle button when I'm so used to pressing the X button on PlayStation, which is correspondent to the location of Nintendo's B. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? So much to see, huh? We can stay undetected this way. Something so valuable here. Guys, get ready to fight. Yeah, of course it's the bird. What you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. I don't know how she. I don't understand the if only you didn't charge off on your own comments because everyone follows after whoever the leader is. Right. When the foreigner starts moving, we won't have enough time. We'll have to do something before then. We've never been here before. Yeah. 
my thinking muscles for this one. Okay. This should be our plan of attack. Two rocket big mine. Impressive. I know it's hard for you to believe us, but I promise you, we aren't lying.
Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? I... Uh, I mean... These Lebnuses were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force, they're drawing near. Very well. I'll choose to trust you. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. I'll take you to meet our chief. Chief? Watch it be one of the consoles. I can't believe Nimue is here. I don't think Tyon's mind's on the job. Moving in sync, right, Tyon? This was a nice find. I'll whack him good. Eat this. Break. Final Break. 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 It's Ionian murder. Uh, Ionian murder rock. Let's go. 
Hello there, Nacho Warrior. How are you? Thank you for joining. Let's see, do I want to use... Probably safer to use lands, I suppose. Voice on the mic is staticky a bit. Yeah, I've been hearing that the. Oh. Hold on. Let me see. I don't really know how else I'm going to fix it because. Yeah. Is it just my voice, or is it the game, too, that's staticky? Alright, so let's see. Okay, I've used no lands. Okay, let's... Just my voice. Okay. And I will try and do something about that in a little bit here. Was it like this last time? Try something here with my mic. Give me just a moment. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me go on mute for just a moment. Testing. One, two, three. Okay. That's normal? Weird. Hmm.
Uh, is that any better? I can't really see anything that would uh, cause the problem here. Because... Oh, that's weird. I guess it just needed to be muted and unmuted to kind of fix the problem. Bizarre. All right. Okay, moving on then. Wait, this way. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Oh, come on, we just fought one of you. Go away. Spider ZX9, thank you for joining. How are you? Uh, so, guys, this is an old acquaintance of mine from back when uh, Mega Man X9.com used to be a thing. How's it going? Too easy. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Uh, hmm? uh. uh. Oh, I'm wondering if maybe you might not be able to hear me. Hold on. Yeah. Uh. Uh. just have to turn water off because one of your pipes got frozen but you're able to fix it oh goodness well I'm glad that you're able to fix it but yeah frozen pipes are no joke <laughs> oh chrome has auto caption nice well I will try to enunciate as best I can Was that your name? Huh? Oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? Um, well, you see... Right. Your dog tag. On your... Dog tag? What? What? Tyon. I guessed. Uh, I'm told I have great intuition. <coughs> Guessing a name for me, phew, it isn't even a challenge. Wow, is that true? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> oh, this is doing my head in. Just stop it, tell her. Oh! Great idea, Nat. By the way, Nimue, you're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. Yuni, we've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? <laughs> hey, something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, but I like that about you. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Uni is as uni does. Besides, hmm? I think it's not just the rebirthing thing. He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. P 
poor fella. Your blade? Huh? I have the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. I did? Uh, no. I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. Right. What's wrong? You all came from outside, didn't you? Yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know. We're not allowed to leave. It's forbidden, you see. Oh. Honestly, it's not all that wonderful. A world of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes, it's a pitiful place. Still, even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Uh huh? It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world, well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. Okay. She said. Oh dear. They ain't leaving B for a spell. Just to try it out now, let's see how the captions transcribe uni. you like them they're nearly in full bloom give it three more days and they'll be covering the whole cliffside wow now that i want to see yeah the chief is over there let's go New colony data. Yep, I recognize this. Colony relations oh. change, looks like. Foliage. That's what it was. Can't remember the name of the Titan from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the life of me. But I know which one it was. The one where you meet Bandom. It's another thing to see it for yourself, right? Oh, wait, did I? Did I miss? What? While I am thinking about it, I am going to 
do some shout outs right now. Oh, hold on. Gotta keep nice and limber. So we have shout outs for SpiderZX9. He is an art streamer. And we have a shout out for Revolution Live. He's a variety streamer. He is uh, been recently streaming Like a Dragon Ishin on his channel. And I still have not had the opportunity to catch one of SpiderZ's streams, but still go give him uh, a follow. Tell him I sent you. Alright. Oh, I have to actually follow Nimue. Do you know Nimue? How many years has it been since we've caught sight of anyone from the outside? I've never seen people from outside at all. This is my first time seeing some actual Kevesi people. Chief Stella. The existence of Chief Stella implies the existence of a Chief Tanitris. I thank you, kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Chief! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing war rages on constantly in the outside world. <sighs> if that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders, as thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. <sighs> Always nice to see a new face. There is a container Would you here. It? Or perhaps out back. Aha. Uh -huh. must know it. Is this place a crop-growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kevez. Seems like a nice way to live. It's warm. They live in comfort. Yeah. How could they deserve punishment?
What's this? I think this was from another me. Remember the battlefield at Kanna? I found it there. Back there? Is Nimue different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? Elegant, graceful, refined. <laughs> no way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. Oh no, sorry. I didn't... What I wanted to say was... I don't suppose we could change. But you know, some things are different sometimes. Huh. Because this time round, we're all Aboros. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. You need? <laughs> I didn't expect encouragement from you. Well, you do make a good cuppa. <laughs> The harvest's already just a few months away. That's right, it'll yield plenty of food for us to eat soon enough, so sit tight and relax. At this rate, it's going to be up to us. Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean, I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? Looks to be a crashed Lebness. Tyon, what's up? It's just this Foronis. A flame clock. Oh man, and it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Oh, that's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Tyon? Riku, do you know much about Foronises? Silly question. Maintaining Colony 9 for Ronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight. We're going to play a little trick. A uh, trick?
How is it? Friend was right. Ferronis can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Well, mechanicists of Riku's talents can do this in 30 minutes. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Ferronis and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repairs. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it. We need the three kinds of parts and an ether cylinder. We can confirm them by Iris later. Uh. It seems as though I already have the parts. So why must I go this way? Better not spill any of this. <clears throat> Thankfully, it didn't become <laughs> aggravated at my presence. It'd be rude not to. Monochromagnite, or was it? Monochrome magnetite. Uh, time for a climb. Oh, hold on. As I suspected. Yovis rings.
Yeah, monochrome magnetite. Here, huh? Oh, I think I know where this is. Yay! That was spectacular! And I was the MVP! You were all thinking it! Well, we've been found!
You're going to fight? Uh, not quite. We're, um... Tyon, I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Ah. <sighs> you could... get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies, I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening? I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this long. But there's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. Nimue. Please. All right. I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition. That is? When we first came here, it was like an awakening. There are still beautiful places like this in the world. We have to keep this place safe. That's what we're fighting for. Once you've seen how we do things, promise me that you'll protect this place. That fight belongs to you. My own fight? Yes. You have a deal, Tyon. I'll watch all of you, how you fight. I'll burn it into here. Riku done. Time to light fire. numbers just as directed. What's going on? We've made ourselves a lure. A lure? Now I get it. That thing's gonna lure in the Mobius and beat it up. They know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Veronis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Feronis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack? Honestly, I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? And then we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder. Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Feronis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. Let us attempt to get 
deal with this guy. Is it go time? This guy really is an idiot. While those Foronises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. We'll hit them where it'll hurt them the most. A console. Got it. Go beat some sense into that dumb Mobius face. We'll take it. Down. Turns out you had a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. Oh! Ah! Impossible! Could I really have been fooled by these peons? My mighty self? Ridiculous! Not a chance! This just isn't happening! This guy's in serious denial. Anyhow, looks like he's genuinely clueless about Nimue and the others. Promise us you'll turn around and go back the way you came. And we will let you go. Give a message to your masters, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. What? You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the streaming. And I will enjoy yours before the day is through. That's why I am Mobius. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will turn through. I will fill this valley with the echoes of your dying screams! Let me hear your dying screams! Sorry, but I'm afraid we're going to decline. How about this? How is this? You won't get away! This will be in trouble. You're pushing yourself too hard! Well, this is a um, bit of a pickle. What?
there's virtually zero chance this is actually going to work, but... One can help. Alright, let's give it a shot here. So close. This time everyone's awake, so that helps. Okay. Everyone's awake, Smash Bros. Everyone is here.
Perfect. Here we go. There we go. What's he saying sorry for, creep? Okay, now Riku. Understanding. Now that was an explosion. What the spark did you do? Friend want to know? Dunno. Will it take long? Explaining principles take half a day. Then I'll pass. Well, whatever the snap happened, it all went down a treat. If I was a Mobius, 
I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Tyon, I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true, there are times when our fight takes a toll on us. But we carry on that fight because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today. Mobius, who made this world the way it is. We have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world. One without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But sometimes we do need rest to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land so that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. Thank you. Our mission. Huh? If we manage to win, there's someone I want you to meet, someday. Okay, class rank and cla rank cap for this class is now lifted. Class rank can now reach level twenty. Very good. And... Colony relations changed. Looks like. There's quite a lot of quest-related events, it would seem, in this region. Hmm. Well, I'm going to fast travel to Corn Island Camp. So wish of setting where on breezy, buoyanty boat on sea top is such loveness existing possibly? Meh, meh, personally, more of land based not on. Not much inclined to build such loveness. Interesting news. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Okay, good as new. Oh, I am curious. Okay. Next. Let's take a look here. Oh, wrong one. Characters. Um, let's see. Mio is currently a troubadour, so... Not terribly different from her base outfit, it looks like. Or not from her military uniform. Yeah. Very much. Very similar, just a different color scheme. Ooh. Tie on with Kamaravi's outfits, not bad.
on the list is. You know, uh, you've I mean, got to take regular breaks. I do need to cr see if I can craft some gems because it's been a minute since I've done so. This is four, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I could do that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have a, so this one requires a graph of tenderloin. Okay, so let's start with swelling scourge. The Refined Blessing 6. Disperse Bloodlust. Right? And Brimming Spirit. Right. All done. Okay. That's how it's done. Uh, I think now is a good place protocol, to save for tonight. Let me see who is online. All right, we got Charles Q. Banks playing Elden Ring, so we're going to give him a raid. Give me just a moment as I get that set up. Thank you, Spider, for joining as well, and we will be back next week. We will be streaming a different game per request of my wife, as it will be her uh, birthday week. So we're going to stream something that she wants to play along with me. Uh, in the meantime, this is Dr. Navelle signing out. Let us... Oh, I need to actually hit the raid button. That helps. Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, Dr. Navelle signing out. See you next week. Y'all have a good one. Let us begin the raid.